Polycystic ovary syndrome, or PCOS, is a syndrome characterized by elevated androgen levels such as testosterone, irregular or absent menstrual periods, and multiple immature follicles on the ovaries. A diagnosis of PCOS can be confirmed by two out of these three criteria being present, after exclusion of other causes. Androgens are responsible for developing features seen at puberty, such as facial hair and muscle development. Although androgens are produced by everyone, their level is usually significantly higher in men than women. It is the high level of androgens that results in the symptoms commonly seen in PCOS. PCOS has been traditionally perceived primarily as a reproductive disorder. However, recent studies show that PCOS is associated with increased risk of developing diabetes, fatty liver disease and cardiovascular disorders. PCOS can have many effects on various areas of the body, including your skin health, weight, fertility and mental health. In this video, we will discuss the effects of PCOS on fertility. In the ovary, there are many small follicles which contain eggs at an early stage of their development. To get pregnant, ovulation has to first occur. Ovulation is the process of releasing an egg from the ovary. This egg then fuses with a sperm, which leads to pregnancy. Ovulation usually occurs 14 days before the next menstrual bleed. This is the period where a woman is most fertile. In women with PCOS, these follicles fail to develop the way they should due to multiple factors such as androgen excess, high insulin levels and excess weight. As such, eggs will not be released from the ovary. These follicles remain in the ovary and appear as cysts, characteristic of PCOS. The lack of release of eggs from the ovary is known as anovulation. This may manifest as irregular or absent periods and difficulties conceiving. Anovulation is a common cause of infertility as the sperm and egg are not able to meet for fertilization to occur. Although some women with PCOS do go on to have their desired family, up to 70% of women with PCOS are faced with subfertility. Infertility is defined as not being able to get pregnant after a year of unprotected sex. In this case, your doctor might order some tests to investigate the cause of infertility. Blood tests are usually done to rule out any hormonal cause of infertility. A blood test at day 21 of the menstrual cycle might also be carried out to determine if ovulation has occurred. Subsequently, scans can be done to rule out any structural problems that might lead to difficulty conceiving. An ultrasound scan is usually performed to visualise the uterus and ovaries to exclude any interfering conditions, including PCOS. Furthermore, a hysterosalpingogram can be carried out which enables visualisation of the uterus and the fallopian tubes using x-ray and dye to check for any blockages. Most women with PCOS are able to conceive with some intervention. In many cases, 5-10% to of weight loss could be sufficient to restore regular ovulation. Alternatively, your doctor might prescribe you some medications to help with fertility, such as clomiphene, gonadotropin, metformin or letrozole. In some cases, surgical intervention, known as laparoscopic ovarian diathermy, can also be carried out. These treatments aim to stimulate ovulation and thus restore fertility. While metformin doesn't stimulate ovulation, it enhances ovarian function to a minor degree by decreasing insulin resistance and androgen excess. If these are not successful, you may be offered IVF treatment. This is a procedure where an egg is removed from the woman's ovaries and fertilised with sperm in a laboratory. The fertilised egg, or embryo, is then returned to the woman's womb to grow and develop. For more information about PCOS, you can visit the resources provided by various patient support groups linked in the description. Thank you for watching.